Get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. Get ready, get ready for a tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. Spilling all this hot tea on this podcast street. So get ready, get ready for this pipe and hot tea. From tea time and filter with your girl loving tea. So Miss Tolliver, she was interviewed by BuzzFeed and she claims that this was all a joke and you know people are taking it too serious. She also received Donkey of the Day from the Breakfast Club and I also went on her Facebook page and she's on there ranting and raving like a lunatic because folks are checking her for her BS. But what I found funny on Jasmine's page is if you look at her header, it shows all this comedic stuff. It shows a lot of Egyptology. She's one of those so-called conscious women from the conscious community. You know, this is why I don't feed into the whole conscious movement because I feel like a lot of people in the conscious movement, not everyone, but a lot of people are full of shit. You know, they try and say one thing and make themselves out to be super conscious, but in real life, they're just like any typical hood booger out here. You know, my thing is if Jasmine is so conscious and she's so about, you know, black pride and black love and she's so into natural hair why would you start a petition like this if you're so about black people and helping black people why would you start something so spiteful and immature against a two-year-old child and you can miss with this shit about well no it's not about blue ivy it was mainly a diss towards beyonce how she gonna come out the house with a thousand dollar hair weave but her daughter's hair is not done why are you worried about it you got a bunch of folks out here signing this petition worried about Blue Ivy's hair. From everything I've seen, I see that the girl is well loved, well taken care of. A lot of y'all don't even take care of your damn kids. A lot of y'all's kids run around here snotty nose, hair ain't done, run around here looking like crack babies. A lot of y'all bitches do nothing but sit on Facebook all day, run your mouth and gossip about this person and that person and everything else. But you guys have the audacity to want Beyonce to do more to her daughter's hair. How about you take care of your own child? How about you make sure that your own household is in order before you start start throwing rocks at somebody else's household. Because at the end of the day, Blue Ivy is good. She's well taken care of and she don't want for nothing. That can't be said for anybody who signed that damn petition. What happened is that Karachi basically tried to go in on Blue Ivy on 106 in Park and that bitch got drugged by her silky ass baby hairs. I'm gonna go ahead and play you guys a clip of her making fun of Blue Ivy's hair, saying that her hair's never done, and I'll come back with the rest of my comments. The top six things Blue Ivy thought about the VMAs with number six. I really did wake up like this because my parents never comb my hair. Oh, uh, uh, I can't. <laughs> Sorry, Blue. I love you. <laughs> so you guys just watched that clip. So after the clip went viral, don't you know that the Rihanna Navy and the Beehive, they came together to sting this bitch to death and then drag her little ass through the sea? Good morning, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good. I had to start this podcast with a flashback. Chad, I can't believe, man, like I've been doing this for so long and it's funny how these topics like Blue Ivy's hair and her features keep coming back every few years. Um, please forgive me for my voice. We kicked it this weekend. I'm still exhausted. I'm still drained. This weekend was more than I could ever imagine in Atlanta. And just once again, thank you to everybody who came out. My tea sippers, my celebrity guests. Thank you guys so much. But um, I want to talk about this Blue Ivy situation that's going on with Saucy Santana. Because um, once again, her hair is a topic of conversation. Now, y'all just watch those flashbacks. That was me eight years ago on YouTube. Okay, poor lighting, horrible audio. You know what I'm saying? But it's all good. I, I had something to say and I wanted to share my thoughts and my opinions. And it's so funny watching that because I haven't seen that video literally in years and it just shows like, damn, TT, you had integrity and you stood on your square back then. Even when people were attacking you and telling you to shut the hell up and who do you think you are and we can do whatever we want and bitch, you're not Oprah. And I was going through the comments and I found a comment that I wrote in that post about Blue Ivy's hair. And I wrote this eight years ago and I said, y'all can dislike this video all y'all want. But I will say this. What I find funny is that if Blue Ivory looked like her cousin Jules, no one would talk shit about her. Folks dog out Solange's hair all the time on the blogs. But I've never seen anything but praise concerning Jules with his blue eyes and his curly sandy brown hair. LOL, it's a sickness. Regardless of how people feel about this child's hair not being groomed, the petition was spiteful and a disgrace. Let's stop making excuses for shitty behavior. Show me another race of people who have done this to their own. It's okay, I'll wait in my Cat Williams voice. I wrote that eight years ago because that video initially had a shit ton of dislikes. 
I mean, people just used to, y'all know, I mean, if y'all been here for any length of time, I used to get attacked for my commentary because I would just keep it real. You know what I'm saying? And I would hold a mirror up to us as a community. Like, this is not cool. You know what I'm saying? Like, y'all are attacking a two-year-old child. And see, the seeds that we planted on social media, and I say we, you know, as a black collective, you know, the jokes and, and you know, the, the ignorance that people used to spew on Twitter, you know, all those years ago, those seeds are not manifesting. You know what I'm saying? The harvest is here. And you fast forward to 2022, Blue Ivy's hair is still a topic of conversation. And I just find the whole thing just really sad and distasteful. If you guys remember back in 2020, I had to drag these two journalists for attacking this baby's hair. And one of the journalists, he's verified he was a black man. It all started when Meg Thee Stallion posted a picture of Beyonce and Blue Ivy. As you guys remember, um, Beyonce jumped on the Savage remix. And so Meg was invited to some type of party and she posted the picture and people went in on Blue Ivy. And not only do people have things to say about Blue Ivy's features, but two journalists from Harper's Magazine and Vanity Fair, which are very well-established, you know, magazines, um, went in on this little girl. And she was seven years old at the time. So let me go ahead and show you guys what they said. I talked about this, but let me refresh y'all's memory. So the first um, journalist named Kay Austin Collins says, I have a feeling that Jay-Z's face jeans are about to really hit Blue Ivy and I feel really sorry and I feel so sorry for her. Then this white journalist, she felt comfortable enough to chime in. Her name was Violet Luca and she says they haven't already with a question mark and then he replies back and he says, you're right, she's lucky. If it happens now, she'll definitely grow out of it. Get the ugly duckling phase done early. Then she replies back and she says, or she'll just get plastic surgery at 16 a la Kylie Jenner, and we'll all have to pretend that she's always looked that way. I can't allow myself to feel too sorry for the incredibly rich. Those tweets went viral and people drugged them. I think they ended up getting fired. Um, I'm not sure, but I believe they ended up losing their positions. Um, I thought the whole thing was sickening. I addressed it back then. So the reason why Blue Ivy is once again trending is because of Saucy Santana. Um, people were digging through Saucy Santana's old tweets and he said a lot of disparaging things about Blue Ivy a few years ago. And this whole situation is not cool. So this is what happened. So Saucy Santana was talking to somebody and he says, at Iconic Charisma, I just want to be Blue Ivy, nappy headed or. Then, and that was in 2014. Then he goes on to say, at Pretty Pistol, I'm sorry, but Northwest clears Blue Ivy. Have several car seats, Blue just said this yesterday. He also went on to retweet this. Beyonce humor wrote, Beyonce with that mother effing pregnancy glow. Saucy Santana says she looks dry to me. Then he comes back and says his account was suspended for his tweet about Beyonce. So when those went viral, of course, the Beehive got really upset because he was getting ready to perform in Texas over the weekend. And people felt like he should apologize. Like, this is not OK. He wasn't a teenager when he said this. He was a grown man between the ages of 21 and 24. OK, so legally he could drink. He could join the military. He was grown. So let's start with, oh, he was a teenager. This is unacceptable. I held uh, Little Nas X accountable for all the bullshit that he said about people, even when he was a teenager, because it was not OK. He said a lot of just really disgusting, vile things. But people like to attribute it like, oh, well, they're just young. No, it's how you're raised. Because I know a lot of young people who don't go online and spew the vitriol that I've seen Little Nas X spew. So I don't think that that's OK to excuse it just because of their age. But I will give people grace and room to grow. Now, Sassy Santana was a grown man when he said this stuff. So a lot of people were pressuring him like, you need to apologize. This is not OK. Um, another person ended up hitting him up on social media and they said this. Man, at Saucy Santana, bro, you just need to apologize on stage tomorrow at Summer Jam because you got the whole because you got a whole show in Houston tomorrow. And the Houston Beehive, they hit a little different. So Saucy replied back and he basically said, bro, you dead ass just text trying to get me help. You get along with Carisha. That means you got my number. Don't speak to me publicly about no bullshit. Trying to get a moment. Trying to get a moment. You could have texted that or had no comment at all. So somebody else replied back and they said, I don't think he had malicious intent behind it, Santana. Santana replied back and says, it had viral intent. Sit your ass down. So then the guy replies back and says, so you saw the text and didn't reply, LOL. But you can reply on Twitter about apologizing to a child. Was trying to warn you about my city publicly to maybe ease the tension tomorrow. But you got it. 
So then he replies back and he says, I ain't replied because I couldn't help you. Just like I don't need you to help me. Why would I go to a show and apologize to a crowd? I'm finna show you how to do this shit tomorrow. So I'm assuming he went, you know, to the show and everything went off without a hitch. I don't know. Um, I wasn't there because we was partying in the ATL. You know what I'm saying? We was kicking at my show. So I don't know what all happened at his show. But um, I just find this whole situation very interesting. And so now Sassy's speaking out today and he feels like at this point the beehive and people are trying to ruin him over old tweets about Beyonce and Blue Ivy. Fake woke ass bitches. People don't care about old tweets. The internet have this weird thing with power, thinking they have the power to cancel somebody. Newsflash, you don't. Y'all be thinking y'all have somebody by the balls about situations you don't give a damn about. Celebrities are humans, not robots, and they damn sure ain't perfect. I still talk about a bitch like a dog to this day. Not publicly because my opinion matters to a lot of people now. But I be chilling. I don't insert myself in shit that don't involve me. Then he says, stop all that cap trying to ruin people's careers because you at home miserable and broke. I was miserable and broke too making childish, hateful tweets in 2014. I'm 28 years old, a grown ass adult, a completely different mindset on a completely different mindset on life when I was 20, which I knew that. Then he says, it be the people in the comments trying to force you to apologize or say sorry to who? To y'all? If I did something to offend somebody, I should apologize to them, not you bitches. Told y'all, y'all think y'all got power over people, but go ahead. Then somebody says, I wonder what ass Saucy Santana got to say about Blue Ivy now. Then he replies and he says, beautiful hair is serving. And what that implies is if you guys don't know, um, this is why I feel like some of this stuff is definitely calculated because this was like huge controversy over the weekend um, from like Thursday to Friday, Saturday, and then all of a sudden out of nowhere. And then on Monday, after not seeing Blue Ivy for a while, Jay-Z brought Blue Ivy out of the woodwork to sit next to him courtside at the NBA Finals game. And their picture and their moment went viral. I was so surprised to see her. She looks so beautiful. You can tell she's growing up. She had on her cute little Nike sneakers with her little leather jacket. Her hair was out. It was flowing. It just looks so beautiful. Her curls, her earrings. The one thing I love about Blue is the fact that she she's not shoved down our throats. We don't see Blue every other day. We don't see her on the gram. We don't see her on, you know, TikTok and Snapchat. She comes out when she needs to step out. And she just looked adorable. And she had a wonderful daddy-daughter moment with Jay-Z. Jay-Z was trying to hug on her and love on her. And she's like, Dad, you know my hair. You know, like a little typical little black girl. Like, don't mess up my curls, Dad. So y'all go ahead and check this out. Back with us in the Bay and here at Chase Center tonight, 20 Four time Grammy Award winner. All right, so you guys just saw the pictures and the videos. So one thing I find very interesting, I will say this about all of this drama, because like I said, this has been going on for years concerning this child. The hate that some adults have for Blue Ivy and her features is it's really disturbing. Yo, what's up? Hey, tea sippers to listen to the rest of this podcast, please go to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google Play, Stitcher, Tuned In, or AnchorFM.com, which is a free podcasting site. Thank you guys so much for the support, and stay tuned for the next video.